hello don't mind me just trying to get out this hair tie out of my hair because i've got my fake nails on and i don't want to break them oh great has anybody does anybody ever experience this like surely somebody does It might be some time. Um, okay. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am gonna be doing a little bit of a different video. I'm gonna be reviewing the Alexandra's Happy Body Plan. Now, if you don't know what that is, then you can obviously research it and stuff like that. But basically, Alexandra Louise, even though I'm not sure if that's her middle name because I know that on Facebook she's called Alexandra Kane. But anyway, she has created a fitness plan. She was on Love Island a few years ago or a couple of years ago. And she went on a bit of a fitness journey and she lost a couple of stone. And she's really like thin and toned now. And she created this like fitness plan with her personal trainer. And everybody's kind of like obsessed with it and like getting really good results with it. And I thought, you know what, I'm at the stage where I can exercise every day, I can motivate myself to do what I want to do. So say I set myself a calorie target a day, I can get to that. If I want to do a workout a day that's half an hour long or an hour long, I can do that. But I wasn't seeming to like get any results that I wanted. Like I'd get some results, but not really anything. So I thought, you know what, I actually need like some help here. So I signed up to the plan. It is a little bit expensive, but I actually am really glad that I've done it. And I'm really, you know, glad that I got it and I do think that personally it is worth it for me because I just need a little bit of help when it comes to meal preps, meal planning. So this video is going to be me kind of discussing the plan, what it's about, what you get and whether I think it's worth it for people and myself. Just because I'm happy with it doesn't mean I'm going to say it's worth the money. So yeah, just stay tuned for that. So shall we begin basically the plan is you purchase the plan and what you get is loads of breakfast ideas lunch ideas and tea ideas or dinner depends what you say and also snack ideas they have the pictures of the like recipes and then they give you the recipes they are quite simple straightforward recipes i know that there's a lot of people in the group that i'm in because you also get kind of put into this facebook group as well which is really really good but i'll come to that in a bit but i know a lot of people say oh i don't like the recipes i'm a really picky eater but sometimes you just have to push yourself a little bit like you can't just say oh it's not worth the money because i'm a picky eater like that's your problem not the plan's problem so if you just want to push yourself a little bit further like i think in life you just need to try a little bit harder you know what i mean like anyone can say oh i don't like salad but do you know what i mean i'm not going to say that i love salad but i'm going to eat it because it's healthy so it's about pushing yourself i think that's what that is about i really like the recipes i think they're really nice and when you actually make them you'll you'll think oh they're quite nice and i really like cooking trying new things and it just makes me kind of do that every single breakfast recipe is 300 calories every single lunch recipe is 400 calories and all of the tea recipes well, dinner recipes, I'll say, is 500 calories. And they say that you should be eating between 1,200 to 1,400 calories a day. The extra 200 calories is for snacks. So during the day, if you want to have a snack, you can have kind of 200 calories worth. I tend to have an afternoon snack and then a pudding in the evening. So that's kind of like where my snacks come into it. But I find that sticking to the 300, 400, 500 way of doing things actually works really, really well. And a lot of people say and say that they save their calories um, from breakfast and add it on to tea in the evening so they can eat more. That doesn't work for me. I will gain weight if I do that. You really and truly, like from my experience, should be eating breakfast and should be eating solidly throughout the day so that your body's metabolism, you know, gets kick-started and it's working its way through the day and it's just you know, not having to process and deal with heavy amounts of food all in one go, in my personal opinion. And I've noticed that I started to, you know, lose some weight when I started eating breakfast. By the way, I will talk about my results so far towards the end of the video, but I am only four weeks into the plan and it is a 12 week plan. So this is definitely something I'm gonna be kind of updating as time goes on. So yeah, you get the recipes. I really, really like them. I do kind of stick with them. Obviously you can tailor it to what you like. You can switch things in and out, but the basis is just try and stick to the calories, I would say. And I use the app 
my fitness pal on my phone it's a really really good app for tracking calories and exercise i don't track my exercise i don't include exercises like burned calories that i can then eat extra of i just stick to the 1400 calories a day that is what i stick to um, and if i go slightly over then i don't kick myself or beat myself up about it i just think Georgie, be good tomorrow, sort of thing. So yeah, my fitness pal is a great one to go for. And it also counts how many steps that you do in a day, which is quite interesting as well. Then also on the plan, they have 12 workouts. They are 12 HIT workouts. HIT stands for high intensity interval training. I have always been a lover of HIIT workouts. I do them on YouTube. Lucy Wyndham Reed does a lot of them. So you can check her out on YouTube if that's something that you're interested in and you don't wanna get this plan but I really do quite like them and I know how effective they are. It's basically where you do lots of kind of high intensity moves, have a little break, do some more, and then you're done. And it's meant to be the equivalent to one hour of steady kind of work, working out at the gym. And I can completely believe that because these exercises are really tough. Like you could not do an hour of hit. You could not do that. But yeah, the workouts are really good in comparison to and um, ones on YouTube, these ones are a lot more kind of strenuous, they involve weights, they are a lot more kind of high intensity and I really like that because I like high intensity things so I would recommend them in that respect. You have 12 workouts on there, so workout one is for week one, you're meant to do it every single day for a week, workout two you're meant to do every single day for a week two, etc, etc, etc and they get harder as you go along but trust me work out one you look at it and you think oh yeah i can do that that's easy once you've done it and you've put full effort in you're like oh my god i'm sweating more than i've ever sweated before kind of thing they also have a bonus um kind of section that you can pay five pounds for where they've got two workouts on there abs and bum and i wanted to kind of get that just because I just wanted the whole thing basically. And the app workout is really good. In comparison to YouTube, I think it's sort of on par with each other. Like you can find videos like that on YouTube, especially the bum one. It's very kind of samey samey. And a lot of people in the group that I was in said that they struggled with the ab and bum workout and that they were stopping every sort of 20 seconds. And I was like, oh, I thought it was quite easy, but that's because I've been doing a lot on YouTube. So it depends. A lot of people do think that they are quite good um, but I would say that compared to YouTube, they're sort of, they're okay. I do really like them as well. So what I tend to do is I will do like, say it's week one, I'll do workout one for 10 minutes because each workout is 10 minutes. And then I will do either the ab or the bum workout, or I do actually um, have a 10 minute thigh workout that I have made up myself that works really, really well. Um, and also on a Saturday, I do... Instead of doing abs, thigh or bum, I do an arm workout using weights and not using weights as well. Sunday bum, Monday abs, Tuesday thigh, Wednesday bum, Thursday abs, Friday thigh, Saturday arms, and every day still doing the HIIT workouts. So that's what I kind of do. And I really like that and that works best for me. The HIIT workouts do work really well. You will feel really tired after doing them. Your muscles will be in pain and you will need like a good rest after doing them. Trust me, they are strenuous exercises and they work really, really well. And you don't need to do any more of that. Like some people are doing three or four a day. Some people are going to the gym as well. Like you don't need to, to see results. I think the focus really should be on diet for like losing weight. Don't think, oh, I'm gonna go to the gym for five hours so that I can eat this extra meal. Think, let's not have that extra meal. Let's not waste our time going to the gym when we can be like enjoying life sort of thing. Um, so these workouts allow you to just have a little bit more time. And if you are a really, really busy person or you go to work, it just allows you a little bit of extra time. So that's like the plan as a whole. Also, they do add you into this Facebook group, as I've already just said, with loads of people. I think there's like 8,000 people in there now. Like it is getting a lot better. And I love that group. Like everyone's so supportive of each other. People are in the same boat. Like everybody um, gives each other motivation and tips. People post, post their before and after pictures so that you can kind of see um, and kind of get motivated from things or if somebody's struggling they will post that they're struggling and everyone will come and help them so it's a really kind of positive place where people feel comfortable to post pictures that they wouldn't usually post anywhere else um, just because they feel like it's a safe place to post because everyone's so supportive and like everyone's in the same bow and yeah it's just a really nice group chat and I think that's probably the main thing that keeps people motivated is that group chat so yeah I really like that 
Um, in terms of my results, week one, I lost 3.5 pounds in just one week. Some of that can be water retention, like when you start eating healthy and you start working out, you can lose water retention, um, like lose water, but I, I'm not sure, but I was sticking to the plan. Um, and then the next week I lost a couple of pounds. So overall I've lost roughly five pounds. I haven't weighed myself in a little while because I haven't been completely on plan. Um, I've had a few treats here or there. There was like Valentine's Day and stuff. So I thought I'm not gonna weigh myself because it's probably gonna be higher. Within two weeks, I lost five pounds basically, which I think is really, really good. Obviously, I've been having my 1,400 calories a day, doing my workouts every day, eating super healthy. The plan does say, you know, you can eat what you want as long as it's within the calories, but I would say eat super healthy as long as it's within the calories um, because that's where you're gonna get higher results and just, you know, eat you know, nice healthy foods and treat yourself occasionally. Um, I have like one treat day a week where I'll just have a little treat. Um, but yeah, I think I'm really happy with my results. I would say to take before and after pictures because sometimes if you haven't lost weight, you can actually see like a difference in the way you look instead. You know, you might have gained muscle. You might have lost fat and gained muscle and not, you know, changed on the scale at all or something like that. So it is important to take those before and after pictures because they can show like progress that you've made that you might not have seen before and stuff like that. So I would recommend that. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm really happy with my progress. I'm really happy with the plan. It is worth it for me. And I do think it is worth it if you put your heart and soul into it and you do follow the kind of 300, 400, 500 throughout the day calorie limit and the workouts and everything. Like if you invest your time into it and you stick to it, you will see results. And that's what I like about this plan. And it's also a nice thing to follow. I look forward to it, you know, and I think that's always nice. So yeah, I'm really happy with it and I, from my experience have found it really positive and I would really recommend it. So yeah, and also Alexandra also sometimes posts in the Facebook group and she sometimes like likes your pictures and comments and stuff like that, which I think is quite nice that she's got time to do that. Um, so yeah, so this is my little update. I am gonna be making a few like what I eat in a day videos and stuff like that just to share with you um, if you wanna see kind of what I eat in a day because it is very structured. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more content on my channel and I will see you in my next video. I am also gonna be doing some update videos of this as well. So I'm gonna be updating you on how I'm getting along in a few weeks time. I just wanted to kind of make this now, say how I'm getting along now and then do an update in the future, that kind of thing. Cause I just wanted to, and also if you don't agree with people counting calories then that's completely up to you and that's completely like your opinion but if I wasn't counting my calories then I wouldn't be aware what calories was in certain foods and if somebody wants to lose weight you can't say to them oh you don't need to lose weight or you can't say to them don't calorie count because that's what's going to help them to be able to lose weight and sometimes it you know people do get a bit obsessed and they do do it in an unhealthy way but also you can do it in a healthy way counting calories isn't always a bad thing and it shouldn't be seen as this really bad thing because it's just you being aware of what's in your food and what you're eating and trying to eat really healthy trying to eat really healthy good nutritious foods that's going to give you energy and that's going to pull you through the day and I think that's what's important. Also, please subscribe if you wanna see any more of these videos or any more videos that I do and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.